Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? That was a national anthem performed by the talented Skylar Cole. And with that, we'll be right back in just a moment. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sport. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. And how about we check the numbers for C.J. McCollum. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves down to the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three spot. And for New Orleans, underneath in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Jones looking for an opening. Passes it to Valanciunas. And a wide open look for McCollum. Offline with his three. And here's the Lakers. Davis, the pass to Russell. He kicks it to LeBron. Outside, Davis. And the three off target. Now here's Jones. He's tightly guarded. McCollum against Hachimura. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First team foul. Boy, Valanciunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. First team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Jonas Valanciunas. Two shots. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Alan Junis hits them both. Now, here is Russell. Outside, James. Russell sets a screen for James. No good with the triple. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. The foul trouble was a big chunk of it. I mean, it's hard to mount a comeback when all your key guys, your main players, are watching from the bench. Williamson dishes to McCollum. Screened by Valanciunas. Puts one up from 19. Count the basket. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A. 
just 12 years. So to me, the best franchise in NBA history. You don't see that too often, the fadeaway shot when he's wide open. Allen Junis with a screen on Russell. McCollum with the ball, picked up by Davis, and the basket by McCollum. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's James. 33 points last game. Inside. And Davis throws it down. Watching LeBron in the pick and roll is artistry in motion. Timing, precision, everything's right on the mark. McCollum outside. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Pass to Valanciunas. Five to shoot. Back to Jones. Over Russell. Jones, no luck. You could tell he assumed he'd be able to beat the defensive coverage, even though it was all over. The pass to Hachimura. Kicks it to Russell. Lakers passing it around. Pass to Hachimura. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Knowing exactly where his guys are at all times, that's a nice dime from the King. McCollum finds Williamson. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. McCollum passes to Valanciunas. And the layup's good off the glass. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. Now, here is Russell. No scoring in this one. Russell, a screen on Jones. Passes it to James. There's the triple. Connects again from distance. And he's hit thousands of threes in this league. Inching closer and closer to fifth place on the career triples list. And Kyle Korver is currently fifth. Of, of course, Steph Curry has that number one spot. His great length really helps AD defensively. McCollum against Russell. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. Over McCollum. And it's Russell missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Here's McCollum. Trills the baseline jumper. McCollum's got six points. And that's an element McCollum brings to their offense. The ability to drain the outside shot. It stretches the defense and makes them keep bodies on the perimeter. Here's Reeves. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. His first shot coming late. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Jones kicks to Valanciunas. He dishes it to McCollum. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Doesn't quite have the height, but boy, does McCollum have the heart. He's a relentless finisher in traffic. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Free throw good. McCollum. Bittersweet to only have a handful of games left in the regular season, Clark. We've enjoyed the entire journey so far, but excited for the playoffs, I presume. I definitely am, and the teams that are making it are as well. Still a few on the bubble that need some magic to get in, but that's what makes this time of year so exciting, the unpredictability of it all. And it's great to be a broadcaster this time of year. Nice putback on that follow from Davis. Was just determined to get that rebound. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Here's Williamson. The shot misses. Great D that time from LeBron. Russell inside. He's guarded by McCollum. 
excellent use of size there by Valanciunas. Reaching out and just swatting that shot. Away. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Here's Hachimoto. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. And when Hachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And on the season, you know, only shooting around 73%. So not necessarily where he'd like to be. First free throw is good. Hachimura <laughs> hits them both. The Pelicans have gone just a shade under 50% of the field. Five of 11. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. standings in the Western Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at the Pelicans. Right now, the sixth best record in the conference, looking to hold on to playoff position and finish the regular season strong. And, of course, Los Angeles, a couple spots below. And I think for the Lakers, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders just haven't been there. Yeah, and you know, we've seen them enough to know by now they're not going to make that switch from good to great at this point. Not this year, anyway. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. Here's McCollum. After D'Angelo Russell's bucket, six to shoot. Now here's Jones. He's guarded closely. And that one's good, Williamson. And spectacular plays just seem to find this kid. Williamson with a great sense of time and space there. Here's Reeves. Still yet to score. LeBron with it. Now defended by Williamson. Russell. Pelicans pull it in. Alan Junis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum, and D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. New Orleans making a switch here. Marshall's checked in. Prince has checked in for Los Angeles. Now the pass to Marshall. New Orleans moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Outside, Jones. Cans it from downtown. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Good on the shot. From mid-range, LeBron really dialed in. You can't think you're safe giving him those shots. Jones, the pass to McCollum. 
Back to Jones. Davis against Valanciunas. Now the dish to McCollum. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And how about the awareness from Valanciunas? He read the pick and roll coverage there. Beautiful. Pass to Davis. Over Valanciunas. And Davis with the basket on the assist by James. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. So for the Pelicans, Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Hawkins comes in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Jones. And then for Los Angeles, Radish. He's checked in for Austin Reeves. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Russell. Now here's Marshall. Scoreless thus far. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Two shots. Super two. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. Los Angeles has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Benson finds Reddish. Now here's Davis. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Alvarado. Last game we saw him score 14. Passes to Hawkins. Drills the three-pointer. And the Pelicans lead by three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. It's a rebound by Nance. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Let's it go from the wing. Another one falls for New Orleans. Lakers trail by five. We've got 123 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Reddish. That one's in his first shot this game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's McCollum. Really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. There's a screen. Lock at six. Alvarado passes to McCollum. No good on the triple. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Pass to Vincent. Now here's James. He's covered by Hawkins. Over Hawkins. No good from LeBron. And here are the Pelicans. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Alvarado. And the three ball is good. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's James. Five points in the game. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. LeBron's got eight. That's the competitive fire that burns with LeBron James. He's happy to come right back with one of his own. And the pass to Alvarado. There's the pick. He kicks to Marshall. Here's Nance. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Pelicans ahead, up three. A New Orleans back in a moment.
some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Pelicans. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Larry Nance out there with Zion Williamson. Then there's Hawkins. Then it's Jose Alvarado. And it's Marshall in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And sit with it. He's defended by Alvarado. Alvarado with the steal. Williamson up top. And Marshall kicks to Hawkins. Nance a screen on Prince. Shot clock at five. The shot by Hawkins, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And LeBron throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Marshall. Williamson from long range. It's good from long range. Williamson's got six. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Reddish kicks to James. James absorbing hits on the drive. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Nance passes to Williamson. From outside, off the mark. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Pass to Vincent. Dishes it to James. Kicks to Hayes. It's stolen by Nance. And now look at the teams that have shot the ball the best over the course of the last month. The Lakers second. It's been a long month for anybody who plays these guys. I mean, they've been shooting the lights out. And it's been game after game after game. Shoot two. Free throw good, Alvarado. You know, Clark, I have to say, it seems like the college game has seen a little bit of a shift in recent years. You cover it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game, much like the pro game, has become a little more perimeter-centric. The three-point shot has been a huge part of the game's evolution. And so you see more teams playing to space the floor and take advantage of the three-point shot. Not nearly as much back to the basket post-play. So I do think the game has changed. And not necessarily good or bad. I think it's just different. Now here's James. Marshall with the steal. Alvarado with it. Guarded now by Prince. To the middle. Here's Williamson. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Williamson's got the lead up to six now for the Pelicans. James against Williamson. Here's Vincent. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got six assists in the game. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Nance sets a screen for Williamson to the paint. The shot's good from Nance. And the Pelicans lead by five. And what I like about Nance Jr. is how he positions himself, knows his strengths on offense, and plays to them. Pass to LeBron. LeBron fights his way through. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Right wing. And Marshall kicks to Williamson. to Alvarado. Williamson, the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. 
They grabbed their own miss. Out of hand on it. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Jones comes in for Hawkins. The Lakers also changing it up. Hachimura is checked in for Hayes. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Cameron Reddish. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Hey, yo, right here. Marshall dishes to Williamson. Just four to shoot. Here's Valanciunas. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not Whoa. sure on that position. And Jose Alvarado is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. outside. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Vincent. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. New Orleans leading by three. Now El Barato. He has five. James against Jones. The pass to Marshall. A three. And the Pelicans miss again. And here's James. He'll bring it up for L.A. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. Now here's Williamson after LeBron James's miss. Just five on the clock. Williamson with the button. Williamson's got ten points in the game. I'll tell you, the plus wingspan is part of what makes Williamson so difficult to defend. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Zion Williamson is a force to be reckoned with, but Coach Willie Green said he's just scratching the surface. He's going to continue to get better over and over again. He's making the right play. Kevin? All right, D.A., thanks. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Matching up on the changes for New Orleans. Trey Murphy's checked in for Najee Marshall. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Jose Alvarado. And then for the Lakers, Anthony Davis comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Austin Reeves in for Vincent. Free throw good, LeBron. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. McCollum, nice shot from 10 feet out. 11 points in the game. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. And it's slammed in by Davis. There's no stopping that. A.D. is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. You know, Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. Lakers have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the second quarter. Pass to Hachimura. 
Russell against Jones. The three from LeBron, and the rebound goes to the Pelicans. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. The three from McCollum, and again for three. And for this franchise now, he's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. So the Lakers call timeout their first. the steal ranking you mentioned it shows just how tough they are in terms of transition defense with all their steals in the open court opponents really have to be careful with the ball around McCollum against Russell here's Reeves Still without a basket. Davis setting the pick for James. James gets inside and finishes. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. McCollum against Russell. Back to McCollum. the elbow. It's Valanciunas. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Jonas Valanciunas. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. That free throw, no good. Najee Marshall, he's checked in for Williamson. The Lakers also with a sub. Prince is checked in. He hits the second from the lock. Lakers trail by four. Russell kicks to Davis. Prince outside. Up top, Russell. He's guarded by McCollum. Russell passes to Davis. Clock at four. From the arc. And McCollum with the block. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Pelicans leading by four. Passes it to Valanciunas. Valanciunas draws the double for three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. McCollum against Russell. Pass to Prince. Fades away. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy buck. Here's McCollum. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Prince outside. Back to Russell. There's the pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Outside Russell. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Prince has got five points in the quarter. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. Here's McCollum. He trains the turnaround jump shot. McCollum's got 18 points. 
impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Russell feeling it out a bit. Left side, Davis. Over Valanchunas. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You look at AD, and you know he's taking his share of contact. Quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. Taking two shots. Falls for Anthony Davis. And you know, for a big man, Anthony Davis has always been above average at the free throw line. Reddish, he's checked in for Prince. And both free throws good for Davis. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Jones kicks to Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on Russell. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. And Davis sends it back. Pass to Reeves. Davis with a screen on Jones. To the inside. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got six points in the quarter. This is why you integrate Davis into these sets, because he's terrific at finishing them off. McCollum against Russell. 143 left in the first half. McCollum no good. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in the close game. And so it's McCullough. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They can look forward to San Francisco after this game and a matchup against Golden State. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Now here's Alan Junis. He's coming off a 13-point game against Sacramento. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just the dominant performance on the glass. Here's Davis after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas. Outside, Russell. Passes it to Reeves. Fires the three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Three points. Reeves has got himself on the board with three there. Simply found the open man there because he read the defense. Well done by Davis. It's McCollum on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. McCollum finds Jones. And shot on the way. That's good on the jump shot. Jones has got the game tied up here for the Pelicans. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. McCollum against Russell. 12 seconds left in the first half. Here's Davis again, the Lakers. Watching Davis do work like this is special. And here's McCollum. Fires from way outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. So that'll be it for the first fairly even battle underway in this one. Lakers lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm-up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm-ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Hey everybody, Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. You take a look at the Lakers. They're trying to close out strong. 
Don't want to lose any ground. Yeah, last week of the season, they have a lot to play for. I think they may have to learn something in these next few games to take them in the momentum of the playoffs. Well, as we check out the results of the first half for the Lakers, it's been neck and neck. Well, they got the extra credit for their hustle on the glass, playing with great energy and intensity. They came into this game determined not to be outworked. And what I like, it's pretty much every possession. They just don't take many plays off. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by James. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The Lakers in the lead. So the Lakers five right now. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's LeBron. Zion Williamson making his last shot. LeBron passes to Davis. Back to LeBron. Down low. Russell kicks to Hachimura. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Oh, my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. LeBron James shooting one. Pelicans trail by six. McCollum outside. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Here's Williamson. He's off on that one. LeBron with some nice D. Hachimura with it. Back to Russell. Lakers passing it around. Inside. He kicks it to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And now it's an eight-point Laker lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Valanciunas. He's got nine. Valanciunas with a screen on Russell. Five on the clock. Williamson against LeBron, and it's Williamson missing. Lakers leading by eight. Hachimura, the pass to James. Fires for three, and another three for the Lakers. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. McCollum against Russell. Outside, Jones. Pass to Williamson. Over James. And he overshot that one, missing. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. The pass to Reeves. Out to Russell. Let's it go from deep. 
drops in the tray. Russell's got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Second in scoring. And they're second in three-point shooting. They can't let this team get into a rhythm or this game will get out of hand quickly. And G.A., you talked about their scoring average. This is a team capable of exploding on any given night. Their firepower is incredible. Pelicans trail by 14. And Jones has it in the corner. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. McCollum's got four assists in the game. James looking it over. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. Lock at six. Davis setting the pick for James. Yep, it counts. LeBron's got nine points here in the second half. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight, keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Now here's Williamson. 12 points for him. Feeds to Jones. James against Williamson. Great D that time from James. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. The Lakers with the ball. Zion Williamson unable to get his last shot to go. Davis with a screen on Jones. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. He gets that one. And with that great handle and high basketball IQ, McCollum remains a lethal pick and roll option. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. Williamson against Russell. Williamson, the pass to Valanciunas. It's Jones on the wing. Eight points for him. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. And the first one at the line is good. Gabe Vincent, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And so he hits both. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Vincent. He feeds it to Davis. And he converts the layup. Davis has got 22 points. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated.
Mitchell, he's champion for the Pelicans. And with the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard showing us this month's top passers. Fourth, LeBron James. Really been in sync with his teammates over that period. I mean, his passing has been phenomenal. coming up unable to get that one to go with all the content and when you think of McCollum the word efficient comes to mind this guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level this is his second trip to the free throw line And he makes the first. Both shots good from the strike. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. Talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you. Here's Valanciunas following the basket by LeBron James. Here's McCollum, and Davis sends it back. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Vincent misses. Uh, I'm shocked that he didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Back to Williamson from deep. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. McCollum's got his fifth assist in this one. Russell kicks to Davis. Vincent the pass to Russell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on C.J. McCollum. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. He throw good, Russell. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And so Russell hits them both. And with this new CBA, great for the first time, team and league licensing revenue, about $160 million a year, is to be shared with the players. And I think that's probably jersey patches and, and stuff like that. It makes sense that the players should get a share of that. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Hachimura. Hands the shot with nobody near him. And it's nine points here for Rui Hachimura. Pelicans trail by 12. Williamson looking it over. Over James. Another one falls for New Orleans. And this team encourages Zion to be assertive 
inside. They know how skilled and overpowering he can be. Now, here is Russell. He has seven. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. The Lakers have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Nancy's checked in for New Orleans. Hawkins comes in for Williamson. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Rui Hachimura. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. To the inside. Kicks it out to Hawkins. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Prince, the pass to Russell. Here's Davis. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. The assist. Russell's got assist number seven for him tonight. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. It's Hawkins on the wing, defended by Vincent. Trains it from beyond the arc. Jones has got six points in the quarter. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Pass to Prince. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. One thing, Greg, you notice about Torian Prince, he can play anywhere against anyone. And he's a versatile player who gives you just a ton of effort. Drop Prince into any lineup, any scheme, and he's going to find a way to affect the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, I like the fact that Prince um, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Uh, kind of lets the game come to him naturally. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Hayes is checked in. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Marshall passes to Alvarado. And here is Marshall. Pass to Hawkins. Nance a screen. Six to shoot. Inside runner. It's what? Hawkins against Davis. Over Hawkins. Misses off the left eye. Pelicans trail by 11. And there's the pass to Alvarado. Three from McCollum. Good on the triple. McCollum's got 27. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Vincent with it. He's defended by Alvarado. The feed to Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Here is Hawkins. He's got five. Pass to McCullum. Over Reddish. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from McCullum. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Davis, the pass to Prince. Shoots it up. And he connects with the jumper. Vincent. Vincent's got five now. One ten left in the third. 
Now here's McCullum, guarded by Reddish. Here's Hawkins. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now a look at the teams leading the NBA in steals since the All-Star break. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. You know, the defense has been frenetic. And it seems like they're gaining momentum as the season wears on. I mean, they're forcing a lot of turnovers. First free throw is good. And so Hawkins drills both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Here's Vincent. He's defended by Alvarado. It's good. 30 points for Anthony Davis. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Column, no good. Los Angeles leading by 10. Over in the corner, Reddish. Off target from three-point range. New Orleans has got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. A three from McCollum. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Loads it up for Davis. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Nance. So it's Los Angeles, the breathing room heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And don't go away. We'll be right back. moment to uh, reveal our state farm assist of the game and he sliced the D wide open with this feed they had no chance to prevent that basket yeah that's just a brilliant read of the defense I mean it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass just great harmony on all sides fourth quarter of action is upon us thanks as always for joining us Hawkins is out there with Jose Alvarado then there's Williamson, and it's Nance, and it's Marshall in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. LeBron against Williamson. Now Vincent. James right side. Just five to shoot. Up and in on the layup. James has got 32 points. 
and I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Williamson. An absolute beast in close. Once Williamson has this kind of positioning, you pretty much have to foul. At the line for your Republicans, Zion Williamson. Two shots. That free throw missing. Well, with his attacking style, Williamson spends a lot of time at the foul line. Second free throw, no good. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And the call will be against Najee Marshall. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Prince's shot is good. And you know Prince is feeling it when he takes this shot. Love the confidence. Williamson outside. Nance sets a screen for Williamson. He dishes it to Nance. It's rebounded by Hayes. Good offense squaring up against better D there. Gotta appreciate that stop. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's going to send Cam Reddish to the line. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. Cam Reddish at the line for one. One shot. Reddish, no good on the free throw. Pelicans trail by 17. Passes it to Alvarado. And Nance kicks to Hawkins. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And stolen by James. And James throws it down hard. As soon as he got the ball, LeBron was full steam ahead. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Hawkins. Nans a screen. Looking to end the run. The shot by Hawkins, no good. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Here's Alvarado. After the basket by the Lakers, here's Williamson. Shot clock at five. Takes a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Now, here's Reddish from 10 feet out, and it's Williamson with the rebound. And recently, the NBA Clark had names to major awards. It's a nice gesture, don't you think, from the lead to the past legends? Yeah, I could not agree with you more. And really hard to argue with their choices for naming those awards after. It's a way to connect the past to the present and honor and pay homage to some of the greats in the history of the game. I like everything about it. Prince with a screen on Williamson. Nance gets the rebound. 
Nance has got six rebounds now in the game. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And you have to admire how hard Zion plays. It makes defenders nervous and forces them to overcommit. At the line for New Orleans, Zion Williamson. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So for the Pelicans, Zeller is checked in for Nance. And Jones subbed in for Marshall. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Reddish. And both free throws, good for Williamson. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Williamson against LeBron. The pass to Hayes. The dish to Russell. Shot clock at six. Hayes with the screen for Russell. Sinks the three-pointer. Excelling in the pick and roll back at the Ohio State University. Russell bringing that skill along with him to the NBA. That skill travels well. Alvarado with it. He's guarded by Russell. And Zeller kicks to Jones. Now here's Zeller. As to Williamson. Takes the three. And the Pelicans miss again. Russell passes to LeBron. Passes to Hayes. Here's Vincent. Let's the three fly. Zeller grabs the board. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And the baseline jumper, no good. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Outside, Russell. LeBron passes to Hayes. That's tipped. Here's Jones. And the rejection by James. It's a part of his game that LeBron takes a lot of pride in. Shot blocking and defending. He's no slouch at that end of the floor. So for the Pelicans, Jonas Valanciunas comes in for Zeller. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Jose Alvarado. The Lakers also making some changes. Davis has checked in for Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Torian Prince. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Vincent. Here's Williamson. Lays it up off the glass. Williamson's got 11 in the second half. Oh, what a great game plan from them tonight. That They keep getting it to Zion, and Williamson keeps delivering. Hachimura finds James. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis over Valanciunas. And no good trying to use the glass. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Here's McCollum. Alan Judas with a screen on Russell. And here's McCollum for three. Buries the long-range jumper. McCollum's got 32 points. And that range makes McCollum hard to defend because if you're too close, you know about his ability to go by you and get to his spot. And two. Third team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Davis. Trey Murphy's checked in for Hawkins. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Oh. 
And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Here's Williamson. Well, Greg, they're making a valiant effort to come all the way back. Wow. And they need to take care of the basketball. Plenty of time. No need to force anything. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. There's the three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got 15 rebounds here tonight. This is to Russell. Pass to Hachimura. And here is Davis. He is guarded by McCollum. Russell with a wide open look. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. For three. Russell's got a couple of three pointers now in the fourth for the Lakers. McCollum against Russell. Williamson is screen on Russell. McCollum passes to Valanciunas. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Davis dishes to LeBron. Davis with a screen on McCollum. Back to Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. I don't know what you do about that. Davis just powering it down. The pass to Valanciunas. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Lakers leading by 21. Back to James. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And with the new CBA, Clark, one thing that again didn't get any traction, the franchise tag. Yeah, not surprising. I mean, if a guy really wants to leave a team these days, most of the time a trade will be made. Take a break. It doesn't necessarily have to get the free agency. Free throw good, LeBron. That one misses, so he goes one for two. New Orleans has got a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here on the fourth. Loads it up for Williamson. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. It's McCollum on the wing. Outside, Jones, and stolen by Russell. Reeves the pass to Russell. James against McCollum. High post, Davis. And it's Russell in the corner. And another three for the Lakers. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. And so here is New Orleans. And here's McCollum. To end the drought, Jones trying to get open. And the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got 16 here in the second half. And you know what? He's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Hachimura with it. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And Los Angeles with some changes. Lakers. Prince comes in for Hachimura. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Austin Reeves. The Pelicans shooting 47%. Pretty solid. Jones kicks to Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on Russell. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And it's not everybody who needs hops to finish at the rim. Valanciunas just needs to be in arm's length of the bucket to throw it down. Now here's James. Davis finds Russell. Dinwiddie outside. McCollum against Russell. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Russell against McCollum. 
Valanciunas with a screen on Russell. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And Kevin, lots of standing around and, and watching by the defense that time. And he makes them pay, doesn't he, Greg? How with that emphatic slam. And guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit. I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up that way. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Here are the Lakers. They're on a 15-6 run. And the dunk by James. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. McCollum outside. Pass to Valanciunas. Back to McCollum from outside the arc. Tries again. No good from Valanciunas. Los Angeles has gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Los Angeles. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And these guys already with 45 wins on the... Good! Another from three! And that last three now ties him for the franchise record for most in a season. You know he's looking for that next one. You talk about being locked in all year long. Next one sets the franchise record. What a season it's been for him. Williamson finds Jones. Count it. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. LeBron against Williamson. LeBron outside. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. AD, efficient night offensively. What got you going there? I got in the gym yesterday and just played some one on one. Get back in the rhythm, get some game shots, and it helped me out tonight. Um, that's it. You know, I just try to stay with it. I'm confident in my game, confident in everything that I do, every shot that I take, and tonight it went in. Yeah, you were rolling, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James.